In fact, is one of the first to show as they come towards the first of the 15 fences. Tipping Tim from Mulbeck, Mulbeck, and also on the far side, all safely over at Egypt Mill Prince, who goes right up uh, to take it up now. Egypt Mill Prince going on from Tipping Tim. Then comes Wind Force, Usher's Island on the far side, Mulbank on the near side, and then uh, brought. Bradbury Star. The back marker at the moment is South Holt, also in rear the former champion hurdler Beach Road. And Egypt Mill Prince, who was second last year, is making it as they come to the next. Egypt Mill Prince over the third from Wind Force in the lead. And then in third is Tipping Tim. Behind them come uh, commercial artist who's moved into force just ahead of Usher's Island. Behind uh, Usher's Island is Mold Bank and then Storm Alert. And then King's Fountain and Bradbury Star. Behind them, uh, King of the Lot and Errant Knight. The back marker still South Holt and uh, last year's runner-up Egypt Mill Prince is setting him a real gallop as he comes to the next. This will be number four of the 15 fences. Egypt Mill Prince jumps it in the lead from Windforce, who's second. Commercial artist comes next and tipping Tim four on the far side. Then comes Storm Alert. Behind Storm Alert, Usher's Island and Mull Bank and King's Fountain over the fifth. Egypt Mill Prince from Windforce. Mistake there by Errant Knight but uh, gets away with it. Egypt Mill Prince, the leader, from Wind Force, Tipping Tim and Commercial Artist are three and four, and behind them come King of the Lot and Usher's Island and King's Fountain, then Storm Alert over on the far side, being tracked by Errant Knight. Then comes Bradbury Star, with only uh, two behind him at the moment, Bradbury. Over the fifth now. Six, I should say, and Egypt Mill Prince, the leader. Egypt Mill Prince over it from Tipping Tim, who jumps it second, and Windforce third, and four now is Storm Alert. Then comes Aaron Knight making ground on the inside. Commercial artist on the near side, the one with the bandages he is. Usher's Island comes next, and then King's Fountain, and then Mulbank, and then Bradbury Star. Then second sh schedule and Beach Road. Number seven they're coming to now. Egypt Mill Prince and, t and Tipping Tim. Tipping Tim right up there with him. The 92 winner and Tipping Tim, in fact, going on now once again in the lead from Egypt Mill Prince second. Then comes Commercial Artist third. Four is Storm Alert. Five, Usher's Island. Six, Errant Knight. Seven, King's Fountain making ground on the outside. And just behind him is Mull Bank over the eighth and Tipping Tim landed clear over the eighth. South Holt is still one of the back markers. Wind Force has lost a lot of ground. Beach Road has got it to do to get in touch. Coming down to the water now. And over it, and Tipping Tim lands over it in the lead from Egypt Mill Prince. Then comes Commercial Artist, Storm Alert on the inside. Coming to the first of the ditches now, Tipping Tim by about two from Egypt Mill Prince. And behind Egypt Mill Prince is Commercial Artist. And King of the Lot uh, has been pulled up there. Five from home. Tipping Tim from Egypt Mill Prince, commercial artist. Storm Alert on the inside, second schedule beginning, beginning to get into it too, and Bradbury Star coming there very strongly under Philip Hyde. But it's still Tipping Tim the leader as they come to the final ditch, four out. Tipping Tim on the inside, Egypt Mill Prince jumps it next, mistake there by commercial artist. Bradbury Star's moved into third place. It's Tipping Tim from Egypt Mill Prince. Bradbury Star is third, second schedule four, and Storm Alert five as they race down the hill towards the third last fence. And David Bridgewater looks over his right shoulder, sees Egypt Mill Prince there, but also Bradbury Star, the top weight, coming there very strongly. He'd be the second in Mackerson history to win it in succession if he manages to do so. South Holt's coming there strongly on the outside. Tipping Tim is the leader over it. Egypt Mill Prince is still second. South Holt's a fall there. And Tipping Tim is the leader from Egypt Mill Prince. And Bradbury Star is still coasting. Second schedule is in fourth place. Two out. Tipping Tim towards the right. Lands in the lead from Egypt Mill Prince and Bradbury Star. And second schedule and then Storm Alert. And Bradbury Star is practice still coasting as he comes to challenge for the lead now. Bradbury Star takes it up and races towards the final fence, the leader from second schedule over on the far side. It's Bradbury Star and second schedule at the final fence in the Mackerson. 
Bradbury Star on the near side, second schedule, fighting back to the far side. Bradbury Star lands in the lead from second schedule. Bradbury Star is nearest to it, second schedule, under pressure over on the far side. Bradbury Star, the 1993 winner, headed by half a length as they race to the line. Second schedule is fighting back. It's going to be a photo. It's a photo at the end of the 1994 Mackerson between Bradbury Star and second schedule. Egypt Mill Prince came next and then Commercial Artist and then Storm Alert and Beach Road and behind them Tipping Tim and behind Tipping Tim was Usher's Island and then Errant Knight and King's Fountain was in fact the last to finish. It's a photo finish and it's close to between number one Bradbury Star owned by Mr. James Campbell trained by Josh Gibbard and written by Philip Hyde and number three second schedule for Ireland owned by Mr. Hugh McMahon trained by his daughter Annette McMahon and ribbon by Kevin O'Brien and it's just as close for third place between Egypt Mill Prince and commercial artists number seven and number eight Bradbury Star has he achieved his eighth victory over the course and become the second in history to win the Mackeson Gold Cup in successive years or has second schedule who fell three out in 93 breasted him at the line it's very close between the two and isn't this what steeplechasing is all about little tipping Tim picking up and pinging there. Who'd have believed he wouldn't have been in the first three at this stage? Southolt just doing the splits there. Happily, he jumps up all right. But at this stage, Tipping Tim and Bridgie kicking on from Egypt Millprint. Bradbury cantering on the outside. And second schedule being pushed along back in fourth place. He is to deliver later on. This is a tricky old fence. They've rushed down the hill. They level out a bit for it. But Tipping Tim up and about a length and a half lead there over Egypt Mill Prince and Bradbury Star, but Philip Hyde, he's a youngster, he's still claiming the three, a big task for him here. And a, a great thrill for him, and as we were saying, watching the race for earlier, Richard, we were saying, the reason these horses that uh, like Bradbury Star like Cheltenham so much is that they travel down that hill, never get in into trouble of those tricky fences there, always sitting, do what you want, and uh, Philip Hyde's got the lovely feeling of coming here with second schedule, just on the right with Kevin O'Brien, just again, see him changing his hands, give him a smack, straighten him up for that fence, get him right for it, look for the stride, go on old man, I've seen it now, one, two, three, up, lovely stride, and uh, Philip Hyde not wanting to press the button too hard on the Bradbury Star yet, he knows it, he lied in front, look at his old ears, just beginning to prick, he th thinks I've done enough, I've been in front and Philip Hyde is saying no please just hang on up to that uh, running and uh, the crowd's roaring. Horses will very often when the other one comes to them they like to be in front and they will race a little bit and when you're up that running and you're hanging on in front you think to yourself I'm gonna hopefully just keep hanging there the old horse will just pull out a little bit more for a few strides but you are really looking for that lollipop and look at his ears old Bradbury as he's thinking well have I done enough or not and as they get to the line it's a desperate thing that uh, angle is actually slightly misleading because you would think that second schedule had won by a clear head but uh, as we look back at it I think Bradbury star has got the verdict and there's a man with Julian now who uh,